Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to any new visitors or return subscribers. So your February video was the second most popular. So I'm doing this bonus video for you today. I'm glad it resonated with some of you. Um, I'm going to, because also we're in the month of February, um, I'm going to focus this one uh, on love for you. I'm going to do your energy and someone on your mind, their energy as well. Okay, so let's begin. Um, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus. So what do we have for your energy? Now, the other person's energy. Okay, and now I'm going to pull three for your combined energies. Okay, Aquarius, um, just having a quick look at the cards. <clears throat> so we've got quite a lot of um, Major Arcana cards here. So something feels, you know, is quite divinely orchestrated. Um, quite a strong reading here. So for your initial energy, we got the world. Um, so the ending of a phase of some sort, um, happiness, moving towards enlightenment. There might be someone at a distance from you as well, uh, or you might want to travel. That's what I'm getting. But you've done well, whatever it is you've been working on, you might have been working on yourself. Now, the other person's energy, we've got strength cards. So there might be a Leo. Um, and this person might be um, needing to be quite strong at the moment and forgive and have compassion. This could work the other way, by the way. So, you know, take what resonates. The energies might be reversed. We've got an 11 and a 21. Quite interesting with the 11 um, a potentially quite strong uh, connection here could be a twin flame or soulmate now with the seven of water seven of cups um, one of you or both of you are trying to make a decision complex decision I feel, to be honest, it's the other person. They're trying to gain the strength to come towards you. And they need to sort of think it through. They're not ready yet. They're a little bit confused. But we've got two water cards, so we might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So coming up for you next, um, we got the six of air. So things are looking up. Yeah, this situation is ending. Yeah, so this phase 
is ending and yeah you might be traveling look at the boat here with the horse you might travel to this person potentially or they may travel to you for their energy we've got the lovers um so as i said earlier twin flame potentially uh, could be a gemini so definitely a connection you might be traveling to have this you know this connection which is divinely orchestrated and they yeah they might really um have to be the one that makes the decision though to move this forward that's what i'm getting they need to weigh things up but for your shared energy you know you've got the nine of water nine of cups so you know emotional fulfillment all the things from the past fade away because to go from the seven to the nine things are looking up for both of you lots of emotions coming out see she's coming out of the water so emotions that have been suppressed are going to be shared i feel between you both okay now for the future um for you we've got balance here um could be a sagittarius but i feel this is your energy you are going to need to continue to stay balanced and we and we, we're looking at um divine timing here as well coming into play needing to cooperate with the person but definitely balancing your energies now for their energy ace of fire so more um fire aries leo sagittarius potentially but they're going to want a new beginning they might also have you know something else new starting like a new job they might be moving because we've got quite a bit of travel here you or they might be moving but definitely here a balanced situation and a new beginning balanced new start together and he knows what he wants you know i don't know if you can see his face here that he's smiling he knows exactly what he wants um, and the shared energy the emperor so it could be an aries um, but this really speaks of both of you being balanced with the four um, organized disciplined and um, because there's going to be a change and both of you are going to have to like yeah really like compromise is what i'm getting here compromise one of you as i said i feel one of you is moving is what i'm hearing or both of you you might move in together it's also coming through but divine masculine here as well so i'm definitely getting divine connection divinely orchestrated okay um i'm going to clarify this future line with the rider rider weight deck here so what else do we have please clarify the balance card first and the emperor Okay, and what message does Aquarius really need to know for February? Okay, um, 
So we'll start here with the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, this um, really links with this card. So this, I feel, is you continuing to work on yourself, if that's what you've been doing, and working on this connection. Um, you know, really compromising with this person to find the lack of balance, really balanced connection. And for them, we got um, King of Pentacles, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So definitely a lot of Earth here as well, and fire. I feel it's either Earth or fire, or could be two people for some of you. But they're coming in very grounded, especially with the Emperor as well. Both of you, I feel, more balanced and grounded in control. They're going to be committed. And you're certainly, with this Three of Pentacles, going to be working things out together. Three, so they're balanced again, body, mind, spirit, and together as well. Talking things through. It's going to be a lot of talking about what's happened, about how you're going to move forward together. You might work together as well to have the Emperor here starting a new business maybe you might do this together so if you're twin flames you know that is often the case you go into mission and do something together so that might be what what's coming up for you now for the other messages um i asked for you anything else you need to know very interesting that the chariot came out first and you know that really clarifies the travel that I said I felt. There's definitely travel going to happen together, like I said, or, or one of you um, is travelling. Now, you had this card with the boat, so, you know, it could be you. But obviously, you know, reverse it if that's the case. Uh, might be a Cancer and it might be a Virgo as well so yeah we've certainly got water a lot of water earth and fire in this reading predominantly you're um gonna need to really soul search when this person comes in although you know what you you know you want to make a go of this but you're going to be a bit reluctant and you might not actually want to we might not be sure whether to accept their offer and this offer of love that, that's going to come in. And this might be to do with the past, but to have here, you know, this three of pentacles shows that, you know, some of you are going to talk and work things out, you know, at least like listen, see what they have to say. But definitely, um, if you're unsure, go within and, and find your answers. Okay, you've got that answer within you. And bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. So yeah, definitely balancing of energies, which came out for you here. So I feel that might be where this uncertainty might come through for you because you might be a bit unbalanced um, and that's where you have to go within and just balance your you know head and heart in particular in terms of what you want and if you're not sure yeah go within meditate and just follow that you know follow whatever your heart tells you first of all and then um, you know talk to them and then after that it's your choice I would say Aquarius okay so I hope that might have resonated for some of you in some way please do like comment and subscribe if it did um, I do private readings so I'd love to hear from some more of you the details are in the description box below and I hope to see you again soon.